top of the morning to you is your guy, Vinny Van. Yesterday was a day off, and I uh, I went ahead, tried to get a little something done. It wasn't fantastic, but um, I got up, I decided, and I even took a little bit of film of me outside with the receiver hitch that I was gonna bolt on myself. I went out and bought about $100 worth of tools, an impact uh, socket wrench to uh, tighten, tighten down the bolts to a certain poundage or whatever it is. I bought a bunch of stuff. I tried doing it one day and I realized there's no way in Hades, that's hell, that I'm gonna be able to take that muffler rubber thing off of there. No way, not without some kind of tool. So I looked up and of course it said, you need muffler removal pliers. Of course you do. So 20 bucks, I ordered off Amazon and I got those and yesterday I was gung ho. I got out there, I, I took some pictures, I did a little clip to start out, you know, this is what I gotta do, get those rubber things off, I'm under the car. So these are the pliers I ordered. And this is the piece I'm supposed to take off. Here on the ground. And uh, kind of lift it up into place and at least get some screws in there, pretty much. That is my calling today. And I put it down, I was gonna do more clips, but then it got so difficult. I got the muffler off to where I can maneuver and get the, the receiver up in there to bolt it in, but only one side. And every time I would do one side, uh, the other side wouldn't fit. I'd have to pound it. So I said, oh, I'm gonna do the other side. And then the other side wouldn't fit. So I figured it either is not fitting or uh, I'm just, I don't have the gear. Um, I was under that car getting up, down a hundred times, back and forth, moving things, moving the jacks that it was setting on. I had two little jacks that usually you jack up the car and you stand them on. But I was using that to hold the receiver on left and right at the rear of the car, just where I can maneuver it and get it screwed in. That was not good enough. I could not get it. It was about an hour. Keep in mind, this is the second time I've tried to do this. The first time I didn't have the right tools, so I put everything away and just took a loss. I wore the L, man. And then I bought all the stuff, and over the next week, planned to do this thing. So yesterday I got up and that's what I did, but it didn't work out, I couldn't do it. I'm gonna find somebody to uh, put this thing on for me. So I went ahead, called around in Austin, I found a place that does these exclusively. And uh, I have an appointment for uh, Monday. So Monday, I'm just getting the hitch bolted on. They're not doing electricity, nothing. I'm gonna buy the kit for electricity, but that thing is built out to, po to the point that I cannot uh, wire it right now. I'd have to take wood out and unscrew everything because it's built out, at least the subfloor and then that cabinet and that hinge door underneath in the back where the stone ghost seats were in the back, where I'm using for storage now. That is covered up in wood. I framed it out, so I've got to get under that. So what we're gonna do is wait because I'm planning when I go to get to California and have my brother-in-law, Mark, uh, help me out. He's already said we're gonna have some fun doing this. And uh, so we're gonna reimagine the back end of that car. I'm thinking some kind of a platform box so I can get the bed up in the air, have storage and, and a drawer underneath that pulls all the way out. So I want a bigger bed. I would like to have a double or a queen size bed in there. And the only way you can do that is if you use the whole space, but then you use up, I don't have it now because I have that cabinet on the side. <coughs> and so basically in essence, I'm gonna 
have a lower platform than that, build up storage underneath with a drawer and sleep on the top of it. So that's what my plan is, but we'll see. We will see. So I called up to, uh, Toyota and I made an appointment for this coming up Thursday. And um, one week from yesterday, now we're gonna take it in and we're going to, uh, we're gonna have that bad boy uh, actually diagnosed because if there's anything that Toyota can do it is figure out what is going on with the Toyota so that's exciting got a little bit done the other thing I did which is awesome is I've been talking about getting the rigged swing away if y'all haven't seen it or know what it is you can go to riggedsupply.com. It's R I G D. Rigged. R I G D supply.com. And they sell these things called swingaways. And once you have this receiver hitch on, it just plugs right into that hitch like you're towing it. And then you tighten it down like, uh, like a bicycle uh, handlebars would be tightened down. That's this thing, this wedge that tightens up. And, it's, and it gets so good that you. Uh, it doesn't wiggle at all. There is no squeak, no wiggle, no moving around. The thing doesn't move. I've seen the test and how it works. Uh, but it has a hinge too, and it's the whole, you can build up the the spare tire on there. There's a place for the, the gas, the little gas tanks you can bolt to your rear um, swing away. And there's also a camp table. I got the camp table, so the light, it's a sizable table that has a cutting board that slides out. And it folds up behind the spare tire. So that's exciting. So I'll have a camp table, which is good because the the build on the van is going to change. And I won't have that little table sliding out anymore that I know of. And uh, what else? Uh, I got the license plate holder that transfers the license plate from the back of the car down to the bottom uh, passenger side end of the swing away. The swing away is so cool. Once it's on there and you want to open up the back to get to anything or if I want to cook, I can just pull it all the way out, open the tailgate, pull that table down. It fits my my uh, my uh, two burner grill really well and um, with room to spare for the cutting board and everything. So uh, I ordered that. It is ordered. It is paid for. Thank you, God, because that was a big purchase. That was, uh, with all the accessories, over 2K. And I'm not bragging or nothing. I saved for a little while to get that. And I've been talking it up forever. To some of you guys probably been going, this guy, man, all he does is talk about getting that swing away and he never does it. Well, finally, it's done. So it's ordered. I should have it within a week or so. I will definitely have my tow hitch receiver already installed so when i get it i can pop it on there tighten it down install it and then the next thing to do after that will be <coughs> tires but i'm really thinking about either toyos or uh the goodyear ko2s or whatever so but i don't think either one of those are as meaty looking as the wild peaks um anyway fantastic i feel like i got something done yesterday which is crazy it's been uh, quite a while thinking about the things I'm gonna do this thing and to be almost there, to be almost there, to feel like, you know what? This is happening, is a good feeling. <clears throat> so I'm still on track for the 23rd of July, but I've had some thoughts happening because the reason for leaving one week before, uh, hold on, before, uh, the month is out because I don't want to pay another month's rent if I don't have to. But if I do pay another month's rent on the 1st of uh, August, that means I have a whole another month to, to do my thing. And I thought that's not a terrible thing because obviously it's summer and everything's hot out there. But I have a place to stay when I get to California. The problem is it's summer all the way there. And uh, can I even sleep at all? in the back of a van with no AC and no max fan yet. Uh, we're gonna install the max fan 
We're gonna install the uh, electrical harness for the license plate. We're gonna rebuild the, uh, the van in a simple way that benefits me more with storage and more room for sleep. And, uh, but it is gonna be summertime and uh, that's a hard thought for me to be sweating it out out there when I could be making thousands more dollars. Um, so I, you know, the closer I get, the easier it sounds to stay one more month. But all this time I've been putting off making a date and I finally made a date, which I'm totally planning on sticking to. Although if something comes up, cause here's the deal. I paid for the swing away. I've still got to buy uh, $1,100 worth of tires. Um, and I still need a laptop. And then whatever else that I need to get to uh, to secure some kind of a good internet. This company that I have my phone with, Visible, I pay only 25 bucks a month for unlimited hotspot, unlimited limited talk and text and internet. But it doesn't really work that great. <laughs> And the, and the signal on it is, eh. I mean, sometimes great, it'll go all night long, but sometimes it's just totally not, you know? And uh, I really need a consistent thing. The other thing is I need to sign up for like Surfshark or something like that, because there's no way that I'm gonna be out there looking around um, for Wi-Fi connections and then just exposing myself fully to any hacker that wants to get to me. So I can't do that, and that's another bill. And I definitely can't afford Starlink right now because who knows when the next job I'm going to take is and who knows when YouTube will be enough to keep me rocking. We'll see. I'm not uh, closing off any of those ideas, but anyway, that's what I've done. I've ordered the swing away. I got an appointment to get the car looked at and hopefully fixed. At least we're going to know exactly what it is, right? And then decide whether Toyota's doing the job for however much they say, or if I gotta find someone affordable to do it, or if I could do it, I don't know, we'll see. I'd be something simple right on the top. Just replace that little piece right there, and then you'll be good, and it won't do that anymore. Thank you. It's been a year of pain, stress, and sorrow beyond anything I've ever. No, uh, it's been hard. I hate it. I wanna get rid of the engine light, but uh, I got some things done, which is awesome. So, very exciting, and uh, the one thing I cannot wait for is that swing away on the back. It's gonna make that thing look so good. It already, it already looks fantastic because of the paint that I did. Totally changed the look of it, and um, for the better. And so that's my day. Today I'm booked so solid. Uh, I love it though. I'm gonna get uh, a bunch of money today that'll help me pay for other stuff. I need to keep saving. And that's why I say, you know, if it wasn't summer and the weather was good, I would be out of here now. I would just say, screw it. I've got plenty of money, let's go. But it's the summer coming up here. It's gonna be so hot. And uh, I don't want to be in the hot like that. So um, staying in August is, you know, though it's a little bit further that I'd have to stay here, it's not a totally a thing that's out of the question. Um, I'm thinking about clearing the shop out though and renting a chair to do that if I do it There's a little place around the corner here that she said she was renting out chairs And I'm hoping that's a small price and if it is I can leave this shop as planned Stay on schedule and then maybe rent a chair for the month of August or however long I planned on staying Because my date was only set to close this shop It wasn't set to leave So that is fact so if I could save a lot of money and make people come to the, uh, make people come to uh, a different location on my website, it's not that big a deal. They'll make their appointment, see the new address, show up, and then that's it. So I'm excited. We'll see what happens. 19 minutes, we're gonna keep this under 20 minutes. Can you believe it? I'm getting good at this crap. You guys have a great day. God bless you, do all the good things with those buttons. Say congratulations below because I actually got something done yesterday and it was something that I need a few of these for. <laughs> See ya.